Hey guys, happy Monday. So I have already gym today. It's already quarter to two. Um, I've been to gym, I've had breakfast, um, I've sent off a whole bunch of Paxi parcels that people have bought from my yoga store. If you haven't yet shopped anything from my yoga store, you can click the link in my bio down below and you can shop a couple of my pre-loved clothing items. But um, yeah, today's plans is I'm going to shower and wash my hair so that I can film makeup videos because my hair is absolutely a mess. And then I want to blow dry my hair and possibly film like a full in-depth YouTube video on eyeshadow for beginners or I'm just going to film a makeup tutorial. I'll see how I feel and what I feel like filming. But yeah, um, I want to quickly give you guys a, like a little body update and like my goals for this year with regarding my body. If this is going to be triggering to you, please skip past this and um, just in case you're going to get triggered. But um, my body, like don't get me wrong, I really love my body type and my body shape and like, I mean everyone is insecure all the time about stupid things. Even the person you think has the most perfect body is most likely insecure. Um, but yeah, like my goals this year is not really like to have the most amazing body. It's more so just to get strong because um, my body is very much so like genetic. Um, like it's my genetics. I've got a tiny waist and I do have a naturally quite bigger bum. So my goal this year is mainly to get strong and I feel like I'm not, like my arms aren't weak but I'm not the most strong person and I really want to get really really strong this year and also be able to squat at least 60 kgs. Like that is my goal, I'm setting that goal. I want to see if I can hit it by June, July but I really want to be able to squat 60 kgs because I'm so weak in my legs and my body. Like, so um, yeah, I just want to kind of get strong this year and possibly have like really defined abs if possible. We're gonna see how it goes. I'm just putting this out there so that I can kind of hold myself accountable for it. So guys, I said I was gonna film a makeup tutorial and, but I'm not actually gonna do that anymore. I've decided that I'm much rather going to sort out and declutter things um, because we are wanting to get our bathroom renovated um, sometime this yeah <laughs> the one upstairs look we're gonna get it completely redone so it's gonna cost quite a bit but also we've got a lot of like things because obviously we moved back from pe and um we also just had so much stuff here already and it's just all piling up and i honestly don't want to show you guys because it's kind of embarrassing so i'm gonna sort through that now so i will if i don't see you for the rest of the day i will see you guys tomorrow morning but i'm going to get stuck into all of this clutter and just clean it up because I just I physically can't clutter clutters my mind and when my mind is clutter I can't I can't function so I'm going to go sort things out put things aside for selling put things aside for donating and just get shit going here because I know that if we don't well if I don't start doing it now then it's gonna take forever and forever to do our bathroom because Everything on this top area needs to be gone because we have to retile the whole area. So that is what I'm going to do today. And then I will see you a little bit later or tomorrow. So yeah. Hey guys. So, wow, it's quite bright in here right now. Um, it's actually, <laughs> it's Tuesday. But I completely forgot I was vlogging this week. Like genuinely, I just completely forgot. Like I went for a lash fill this morning. Got my lashes done. I just went for a classic set this time. We filled it with classics. I did like a slight hybrid last time, but it was with these new lashes that Sam has. It's like called Lashbox, and they're the most amazing. I only actually wanted to ever stock them. If you go to Sam and you're watching this and you're on Jeffrey's Bay, tell Sam you want Lashbox lashes because those are the best. They are so nice. But anyways, I am currently making a butter chicken curry. I've already actually made it. It's just busy um, sizzling away on the stove, just getting all that flavor to come out. And then my tap fittings arrived today. So if you don't know, I think I mentioned it yesterday. We are renovating our bathroom upstairs along with all of these orange tiles. You might have seen them in a previous vlog before. But all of these orange tiles are going and it's going to cost us an arm and a leg but it's just, I feel like it's just so necessary. It's just going to add so much value to the house and just to our lives. <laughs> it sounds so weird but it really will. So yeah, we've just been slowly purchasing everything slowly but surely because renovating a bathroom and renovating a kitchen is one of the most expensive things to ever renovate. Like 
redoing a room is easy because it's usually just paint and stuff but with bathrooms it's tiling and grouting and shower screens and basins and toilets and oh the stupidest things my tap fittings cost me three grand guys three grand four taps is you kidding um but anyways i did go for the black ones so i was being a bougie bitch but anyways we're slowly but surely going to be buying everything and then yeah we'll get the guy to come in and do the bathroom but I want to show you my black fittings and I want to show you where I got them because I went to every single shop when I say every single shop in Jebe and every single online store in South Africa I found the cheapest black fittings taps uh, it was three grand total but usually one basin mixer is one two and I paid I think it was 600 and something for one so I got two for the price of one usually at a normal Tylen all or CTM or anything like that. I didn't do much today. I just I kind of just sorted out my life. I don't I didn't do anything. Let's just be real. And then I started watching Netflix and then two hours went by and this day was just a shit show. But I'm gonna go show you my tap fittings. Okay, so these are the fittings that I went for. I actually got them on Take A Lot, surprisingly. I found this on Take A Lot. I just randomly searched. And Take A Lot usually has everything you're looking for. So um, this is our shower head. It's just an 8 inch square shower head. Then we have the tap mixers. I've got the pin um, handles. I don't know, I just preferred them over the square thicker ones. So that's that. I got two of these, one for the downstairs like guest bathroom and one for ours. And then this is our shower mixer. So I wanted to match obviously everything. So I also went for the pin handle for the shower as well. And then um, what else? And then I got this stainless steel matte black shower arm. But I just want to show you guys this brand because I currently see it's out of stock on Take Lot. And the brand that I bought this from is Excel bath and home at gmail.com so that's where i got it from but the order time if you place your order on take lot takes like two weeks to order it and then it's like another two weeks delivery so it does take a while but this is the brand that i got it from and it's the most affordable brand that i found because i did a lot of searching around for the black fittings and this was the cheapest it still costs a lot, but usually it will cost you about 5,000 Rand plus for these black fittings. The only thing I just need to buy is just um, a waste for the basin. But other than that, this is the brand I went for. And it's way more affordable. So yeah, just thought I'd show you guys that because if you are looking at redoing your bathroom, I did a lot of searching when I found, before I found these. And these literally, like, they were my last thing I searched and I found it. So yeah, anyways. I'm gonna just show you guys. So you may or may not have seen this bathroom before. I'm sure well, you have. <laughs> but I just wanted to quickly show you more or less what our plans are for this bathroom. And unfortunately, this bathroom is in the state where it's not a DIY. It's unfortunately where someone has to come in and redo the bathroom. But I just want to show you my ideas and I'll show you the pictures on my phone for what I have in mind. So First things first, this bath is coming out completely. We are going to move the toilet to that wall over there and then all of these curtains will be blinds, like the aluminium ones or maybe the wooden shutter ones. I'll see what I'm feeling. Um, but the toilet will be moved there. And then our shower, I'll show you the photo quickly. Okay, so this is more or less what our shower is going to look like. It's going to have 600 by 600 grey tiles and then black fittings and a black shower screen. And then this, maybe I could do something like that over there. But anyways, all of the tiles on the floor are going to match the ones on the shower wall with the black fittings. And then I want to get a glass, um, tempered glass shelf for all of our like shampoos and things because some are down there, some are up there. But yeah, everything's going to be black and grey and white. And then, what else? Our shower screen is going to look like that. I've already um, found it. I just need to order it and place the order online. So then we're going to have a cabinet like this made. And it's going to be... Whoa, this looks so bad, guys. Ig ignore this. But this is going to look more or less like that. And I'm going to put a base. It's going to be center. And then I'm going to put a basin um, on top instead of um, sunken in because then you have more space in the drawers. So that's the idea. And then I want to get this cabinet as well, but eventually I'll get it. It has been measured to have it been put in later in <laughs> along the journey, but 
because it's so expensive currently I've just decided to go with the one and then yeah so basically um we currently going to take out this bath and because Blaze and I don't really we're not really bathing kind of people and then long term because baths like this are like 10 to 15 k we will get it eventually just not right now but the toilet will be moved there and then the shower will be a little bit wider like this you know and it will come out to about here and then maybe one day we'll get a freestanding bath over there but for now we don't really bath we never use this it's currently just in the way so yeah that's our idea for a bathroom but i won't be tiling over here i'll leave this white and get a black framed mirror and it's going to be stunning i just want to share this with you guys because I love these kind of things. I've already got the quote for the bathroom. I just am so excited. And our shower floor is going to look like that. So it's going to look like that over there. This bathroom is so bad. But yeah. Good morning. So today is Wednesday and I'm currently on my way to gym. My gym time is officially 9 to 10. That works best for me. That means I don't have to wake up ridiculously early and be tired the whole day. And yeah, I don't know. And I also gym alone, so it's fantastic. Um, but anyways, um, I just filled up with petrol. Um, I'm not sure if you guys know this. I personally didn't know this until um, Sam told me, which is my lash tech, if you don't know. If you don't know who Sam is by now, then you're going to rock. But anyway, she told me that if you FNB and you have a Clicks Club card, not only on a Wednesday if you fill up at Engine, you get double Clicks points. And I'm not sure about you guys, but on my Clicks Club card, I spend a lot of money at Clicks. Because, I mean, you buy meds, you buy flu medication, and that stuff adds up. And I've already got, like, 600 rand worth of, like, cash back from clicks. And apparently you get double points. So whatever you... Oh, if you go on the clicks, then you'll see how much you get per rand or something, or per hundred spent. And then also, if you FNB, I don't know why you'd want to be any other bank, to be honest with you. FNB is the best bank. Honestly, it's the best. The best. Been with FNB now for, like, three-ish years. I moved from Nedbank and oh, I've never been happier with FNB. Everything's just so straightforward, they're so helpful, I just love it. Um, you also get double e-bucks on Wednesdays if you swap for petrol at <laughs> Engine, because Engine is an e-bucks and Clicks Club card partner. So yeah, I didn't know that, but now I'm only going to fill up on Wednesdays and only going to fill up at Engine, so love that for me. Um, goodness gracious me, this is a huge truck. Furniture removal. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna be stuck behind this truck. Okay, um, but yeah, anyways, e bucks. Honestly, like getting cash back for spending lots of money, which is something I do, which is a problem. Well, not spending lots of money, but spending money on things I don't actually need. So, spending unnecessary money and getting cash back for it. I think my e bucks. I only opened up my Ebex account like the end of last year or so. Yeah, it hasn't been long and I've already got like 600 rands worth of Ebex. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I think it's no, it's like 500 or 600. It's around there. So, yeah, that's money that I can spend on Take A Lot. I can spend it on all the different Ebex partners. So, that is amazing. I mean, you can save Ebex and you can literally buy appliances for your kitchen like off take a lot of stuff um, I mean when we bought our fridge for the flat that we're living in in PE that was purely bought with e-bucks so that's how much you can make back on e-bucks anyways this sounds like an F&B ad but it's really not this is genuinely e-bucks and F&B is honestly amazing I don't know if other banks have this but I know when I was with Nedbank they didn't have anything like this and yeah I don't know I just like F&B so if F&B wants to throw a campaign at me 
you just know I'm your biggest fan and I'm a customer and yeah, I love FNB. So FNB, holla at me. I'm gonna go to gym now guys and I'll see you <laughs> a little bit later. So I think I just did the hardest leg day of my life. I'm so screwed and it hasn't even been a full hour since I trained. It's been 23 minutes since my last like rep, shall I say. A girl is dead. But anyways, Blaze is busy writing an exam right now. Um, I'm quickly going with my mom to, um, I want to get scaffolding planks um, stuck together so that we can make like kind of like an L-shaped countertop to go into the kitchen and then I want to remove that middle table just for now because um, a new kitchen is 60k okay she looked away <laughs> um, a new kitchen is about like 60 to 70k and that's just no so I want to kind of like zhuzh it up by myself make it look moy clear out the cupboards pack some appliances away and just do all those kind of things. So I'm going with my mom now and she's apparently got scaffolding planks already, but we need to take them to one of these hardware stores in Java. There's like 20 million thousand of them. And then they're gonna glue them together for me. Then I'll sand it down, paint it white, and then get two um, legs, screw them on the bottom, and then it will be like a open countertop. And then I'll use the chairs that we had in PE for it. I think it's gonna look more, guys. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna quickly go inside now. I don't even know if my mom's home, but I've got a key, so, you know. I know the dogs will be happy to see me. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna go inside now. I got myself, oh, if you haven't tried the strawberry and mint flavored water from Woolworths, oh, it's life changing. And also, I'm such a bougie bitch. Um, Woolworths had um, a special on their rotisserie chickens. So I got two for 140 rand instead of one for 87 rand. Oh, Woolers is just doing the things, guys. Today is a money saving day, and I guarantee you those chickens are gonna be kaput by tomorrow afternoon. I'll eat them all by then. So, yeah. Protein, 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 protein. I literally could sit and eat a whole rotisserie chicken by myself. Morning, y'all. I don't know what the hell is going on with my hair. <clears throat> but um, I'm currently sitting outside having my protein oats. Oh, damn protein oats all day every day and um goodness i washed my hair so my hair is looking all funky because i put like a major hair treatment in my hair last night i'm gonna go to the grocery store and i also need to go get carpet cleaner solution for like a wet vacuum but i feel like i've skipped way too many years in my life yesterday we got a new vacuum but it's like one of those deep cleaners but also a normal one so you can like deep clean your carpets deep clean your mattresses deep clean your car seats it's like one of those so it's like i'm honestly so excited to use a vacuum <laughs> so yeah um i want to go get cleaning solution for it because you can apparently only use low foaming stuff i don't know why i try to google it but google doesn't tell you why you should use it they just say use it but that's why i'm gonna go get it but yeah, we got the, what is it, the Genesis Hydrovac something something. <clears throat> whatever, whatever, deep cleaning one. And I'm so excited to use it. I've got a fluffy carpet, the one that used to be in the lounge. But highly don't recommend having dogs, cats and eating in the lounge with a fluffy carpet. If you are someone that manages to keep a fluffy carpet in your lounge, congratulations. But it just didn't work out for us. I think it's more so for like the bedroom area. Um, but anyways, I'm going to finish this and then just... I'm kind of already wearing clothing. I just need to change my pants to like denim shorts or something. And then I'm going to pop to the shops, come back home, deep clean that carpet. I'll <laughs> record some for you guys. I'm not sure if you guys are interested in that kind of deep cleaning set satisfying situation we're getting so annoying i keep gaining all these followers and all these followers but they only interact with my IGTVs. so like my <clears throat> still images don't do well and my videos in feed that on IGTVs don't do well it's literally only igtv and reels that are currently doing well on my page so it's kind of like ugh, because it looks like my engagement is low but like let me do a reel or let me do a IGTV for your brand. I bet you won't regret it, you know what I mean? So, <clears throat> so yeah, that's kind of my dilemma because I'm feeling 
I'm feeling like I just I don't want my followers to grow anymore because I feel like what you see number wise is not reflecting an engagement in a post or in a you know in IG if it's on IGTV or real it's just not reflecting you know but then again Instagram is also trying to not let your page thrive anyways I'll talk to you guys a little later so guys I've just got myself ready to go to the shops quickly um this is my outfit of the day just bring some denim shorts little black crop and then this black cotton on swim cover up I'm just doing this so that we're just vibing with the outfit um so yeah and then I've also got my black satin mask so I actually altered this mask myself I found it at Woolworths and for some reason, as I mentioned in my previous vlog, the masks never fit my face so I kind of had to customise it and basically what I did is, is I just, oh, I'm not sure if you can see, I definitely take it off. So I took the face mask and usually it's one of the ones with the elastic over there but what I did is, is I just took a needle and thread and I just sewed down the edge over here and the edge over there and then I made it the one that goes around your head and neck instead of your ears because these don't hurt your ears and chafe your ears like the ones that go on your ears do so yeah I really don't like the ones that go around your ears because it just cuts the hell out of your ears so yeah I just sewed it down the side of here with a needle and thread I did it as neat as I possibly could but yeah it's a little bit skew in some places but I've put it to the washing machine and it's come out perfect so love that for me I highly recommend it I got it at Woolworths and it was like 49 or 39 or 99 or something like that I think I want to go get another one and do the exact same thing because I've got two satin masks now a pink one from hello dear dear on Instagram and then this one from Woolworths but yeah highly recommend doing this they also have baby pink and baby blue if you are interested and a lilac you guys so I have just what are these kids doing running in the road uh? your parents not teach you that cars have right of way on the road thanks anyways um so i just did something really hectic and i bought the tiles for the bathroom upstairs and if you've ever renovated you guys you will know how expensive tiles are Especially when you want to just do the bathroom the way you want to do it. I'm actually like, uh, I actually just need to take a nap because I'm actually a little bit overwhelmed about the price of tiles. Like I'm actually shocked, but I mean, there's nothing really you can do. I chose the cheapest ones and it was still like a hectic, at least I'm going Harvey's at the place. He'll pay me half back. <laughs> so this is my new baby that I'm talking about. She has all my accessories. I've got everything, my splash water card. Alice, this is going to change my life. It's the extreme number two. And it's a wet and it's a dry and it's got the water filtration situation. So yeah, I'm excited to use it. This is the carpet that I'm cleaning. It's this fluffy one over here. I'm not sure if you can see it because of the sun, but this is what she looks like. I'm not sure if you can see this, but can you see all of that dust and gunk and dirt? That is from the carpet over there. Like, this water was completely clear when I put it in. And now it's filthy. So guys, I am on my laptop currently. Because I have just realized that um, the season of tax is upon us. And I'm almost certain <laughs> I have to pay tax this year. Um, all this financial year as it's as it works I'm just busy printing all of my bank statements and stuff because um, I need to give it all to Blaze and and obviously I didn't date an accounting student although I was dating him before he started studying accounting but I didn't um, endure the torture that accounting students go through for my tax not to be done for free <laughs> So obviously I'm lucky enough to have Blaze that's literally going to do this for me. But because of makeup bookings and stuff and how people never use their names as the reference and it just, it's so complicated and when you look at the bank statements it's just like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't want to be the one doing that if I don't know what it is. Oh, I just had a moment about what's going on there. 
I'm just absolutely doubting the hell of myself and like what I'm doing and all of that like but I don't know why like if I don't get a picture to look the way I want it to and if like something just doesn't look right like I get so like disheartened and I just like doubt everything and like others I doubt others but, like I had to take a photo now for cotton on body and like it was just like a photo in one of their seamless like underwear um like I took a photo with that and like a gym crop because there's like this new slouchy fit off the shoulder thing so I thought it was a cute photo <sighs> and I just like it just didn't want to come out the way I wanted to I took it over here at first then I went like I took it over there then I wanted to take it downstairs and then like I just I just decided like screw this like all the photos I took came out so shit and I just wasn't vibing with them. It's also such a struggle. Like, J, J Bay is like a really pretty place. But like, when it comes to fashion and fitness and like that kind of content, like you kind of wish you were in like Cape Town. Like, Cape, anyone that lives in Cape Town is just so privileged when it comes to content creation because you just have the most beautiful photogenic places. And it's so hard being in a place like J Bay where literally everything is like, it just looks so, like so not photo worthy like in terms of like for that Instagram aesthetic so it's just kind of disheartening sometimes because you just wish you were somewhere else but like you love where you live but you just wish where you lived had better places to shoot like fashion content and like fitness content like all good and well the beach is perfect for fitness content but guess what at the moment Cyril has the beaches closed and I mean can you just imagine like I just love shooting content on the beach in active wear but like I don't want to get arrested for photo it sounds so pathetic but like it's when it's your job like you have to think about these things so it's kind of hard at the moment to take any nice photos anywhere because of the situation like the beach was my only photogenic like place to take photos here and then obviously like restaurants and stuff but like the beach was like my main freaking like I relied on the beach for good photos and now without the beach it's so hard because like that is my main photo place like I would literally just and the beach is literally like two minutes away from us it's like two minutes and we're on the beach so it's just it's hard to not have that as like your backup it was always just my backup because I knew if I couldn't take a nice photo at the house or like anywhere the beach was always going to be a nice photo especially because the beaches here are just so beautiful but yeah just had a moment of doubt and then also I know this vlog is a lot of talking but like I just feel like there's a lot of talking this week and it's good to catch up with y'all um but it's also the I think it's the laminate flooring being this bright orange color that's also completely just throwing me off because as you can see like I'm not sure if you can tell but there's like a very yellow like kind of reflection going on right now especially when it hits this time of the day because the sun hits it and it reflects orange and like, you'll see now on the roof I'll show you on the roof so there's like this orange okay this camera's got really good white balance but there's this really orange tinge all the way through the room because of this laminate floor
baby's trying to pose. 